Hello everyone, this is Marcin from Tokanica, a standby block producer based in Central Europe and more so, Poland. Um, first of all, uh, we would like to thank you so much for all the trust and support we received from you and form of your votes. We really feel uh, privileged uh, to be a part of this incredible movement that EOS uh, is becoming. Uh, but the reason uh, why we're here today is we'd like to announce that we have just released uh, EOS Factory in its full production version compatible with the current EOS 108 software, meaning it will run on the EOS mainnets and on the EOS testnet as well as locally on your computer by setting up a local testnet. Uh, so in other words, it's now a production-ready smart contract testing and development platform um, basically ready for, for everyone to use and doing real work and uh, real development. Um, as we know, some of us better than others, uh, smart contract testing is an extremely important part of the development cycle and errors in smart contracts, they range from mildly annoying to, um, to absolutely suicidal and extremely costly as we have learned uh, in Ethereum's DAO mishap or the parity wallet lockup and probably many other uh, lesser known ones. And so this is the exact reason and purpose why EOS Factory has been developed to facilitate this testing and, and uh, have it uh, done in the highest possible standard. Um, so for those of you familiar with Ethereum, uh, you can think of EOS Factory as a Truffle framework subset responsible for the smart contract testing. It is uh, somewhat similar in functionality. Um, EOS Factory is cross-platform compatible, so it will run on Linux, Windows and OS X and, and support um, Visual Studio Code and also the CMake toolset. So it is quite flexible. Whatever you're working with already, uh, you can probably find a way to, to launch it and use it. We took uh, a lot of care to, to make this available for all these platforms. Um, the workflow of, uh, of EOS Factory is rather simple. You write this, uh, the contracts in EOS's native C++ and then uh, use a Python wrapper to write your unit tests. So for all of you Python lovers out there, we think this is a uh, this is going to be your uh, your kind of home home ground in which you'll feel very familiar. Um, once you're done writing the tests, EOS Factory sets up the entire environment for the testing and all the repetitive tasks, which are the most actually difficult in in getting right. So all the accounts will get set up automatically, all the wallets, all the test nets, uh, whatever there is necessary, this will just happen by, by itself. You don't have to worry about that. Um, also, everything in the unit testing phase is object-oriented, so it is very easy to work with, um, with the smart contracts because they become objects on which you can use methods. So a lot of automation can be done. Um, the EOS code base, EOS factory code base, um, itself is uh, is open source so you're welcome to check it out um, a word of warning it's quite large it's about 10,000 lines of code uh, it took, took us about seven months to develop it might sound a bit weird for some of you as EOS wasn't even around seven months ago um, we were working with scraps of code trying to guess where it would go next and uh, as the code base got more solid so so did our um, output and so here we are now with a working product. Uh, it's also fully documented, so you can, you can check out the documentation in, uh, in our GitHub repository. Uh, we believe it's sufficient to get you through most of the challenges. Um, however, if you still have questions or run into some problems, you can get in touch through a Telegram group linked down there, which we created explicitly for this purpose, uh, in which we will try to answer all, all your questions as, as fast as we can. Uh, do allow us some time though because we're extremely backlogged with work as a, as a blog producer also. And um, uh, anyway, if our means allow, we will keep um, the development of ES Factory until it does become a full-fledged Truffle framework equivalent on EOS. And um, this is also our mission as, uh, as a blog producer for Tekenica to, to support actual development on EOS. We believe that without that, nothing will happen and developers need 
uh, good tools, especially these days, as they're very spoiled with pretty awesome um, tools on other platforms. So if things are too difficult here, they'll just wander off and funnel their talent elsewhere. And so um, on that bombshell, uh, you know, if you like uh, what we do, you can help us by voting for Tecanica for EOS and we'll make the best use out of these, um, out of the support from you guys. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank you for all the trust we already received from you. And um, if any feedback or any questions arise, please contact us through our social media channels. And uh, hope to see you around and thank you very much.